Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial React Native Video Calling App Part 5. In this part of tutorial, we will implement the call receiving feature and call rejecting feature. So, is, this will be the continuation of previous tutorial where we implemented how to make call and uh, by that feature users were able to call each other and now when one user will call another user the another user will be able to receive call or reject call so let's check the code what changes we have made so when a user receives the call the control is transferred to on answer function and in on answer function uh, user gets a prompt uh, that a particular user is calling you now user has the option to accept the call or reject the call if the user accepts the call then here we are sending a, a message of type call accepted to the server with uh, the use with the details of user who is calling and user who have received the call if user rejects the call then again uh, we send a message of type call rejected with uh, the details the other details of uh, user who have who has called and user who has received the call so in both the cases we are uh, sending messages to the server the response to the server and the message is of type call accepted when the call is accepted and call rejected when the call is rejected so it's quite simple till here okay now when the server receives those message it transfers those message to the user who has given a call so let's see what happens to the uh, user who has given the call on his side so uh, when server responds back to the user who has made the call then control gets back to the message the socket message sorry socket on message and here we have added case answer and sorry case answer was earlier here we have added case call response and when control goes to call response case call response then on response function is called and the data that is sent by the server is passed to on response function so let's see what's happening in on response function okay so when on response function is called we enter a switch case okay and we check the type of data response we have got the data response can be of three types accepted rejected and busy so we are not doing the busy part now we will just concentrate on accepted and rejected so when uh, accepted type is received as acknowledgement then we just set the in call with uh, variable and initialize it with the username of the user who has received the call and we log a message that call has been accepted by this particular user similarly when call is rejected then uh, the calling user get, gets an acknowledgement that call has been rejected and we log a message call rejected by this particular user and we reinitialize the uh, busy method sorry busy variable to false and in call with variable with a empty string so that some other user uh, is able to call this user and this user is not found to be busy so that's it on the client side uh, very easy to understand the changes that we have made and now let's have a look on the of the code on the server side and see what changes we have made on server side uh, again we have very simple changes we have added call accepted case and call rejected case just below the call user case that we did in a previous tutorial so in call accepted case uh, what's happening is that when a user calls another user the server gets 
call accepted uh, sorry the ser uh, yes the user the server gets call accepted uh, uh, message and uh, what the server does is that server uh, sends a message to the user who has been called and he sends a message of type call response and the property response is set, set as accepted similarly when the call is rejected the calling user gets uh, a message of type call response and the response is set to rejected and we also se uh, send the user who has rejected the username of the user who has rejected the call so that's that's the role of uh, server in accepting or rejecting the call so i think it was quite clear the changes that we have made and now our uh, app is able to make calls receive calls and reject calls so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and found it informative and if you uh, want to see the complete series of tutorial uh, you can just go to our website and you can just see the react native video calling app series we have 12 parts and uh, you just need to uh, some of the series are some of the parts are free some of the parts are for premium members if you go for our premium membership it will be very helpful for us So let's now go uh, ahead and see the code in action. So let's first add the code, the new code to the files. Okay, so now our code has been added. Okay, now we are in calling app directory and just need to start the server. Okay, so our server is running on port 443. okay so one user has been connected to the server let's uh, let's connect one another user so one more user is connected if you see two user has been connected okay now let's log in the user okay so user A is logged in let's log in user B okay user B has logged in and you can see he can see user A is already there so now he will call user A okay he is calling user A so user B is he is getting the user uh, A is getting the prompt that user B is calling you. Now he can accept or reject the call. Let's see what happens when he rejects the call. Okay, when he rejects the call, uh, this user here we are uh, logging that call has been rejected, and user A is also uh, sorry user B is also getting informed that call has been rejected by user A. Previously, this was not happening. Previously, only we were logging the call rejected message here. But now, the client who is calling, he is also getting the information that call has been rejected. Now, uh, let's log in another user.
okay so user c has is logged in now let's see what happens when he calls user a so user a is getting the prompt that user c is calling you okay getting called and now uh, earlier we rejected the call now we will accept it so when we accept it here we are logging call accepted as well as user c is getting the info that call has been accepted so now the call is getting accepted and as well as getting rejected whenever a call uh, one user is calling another so we are we have successfully implemented our feature and you can just go to our website and you can you can check all the series related to the this tutorial at the end we have created a complete video calling app in the part 12 uh, with all the conditions applied with all the logic implemented so uh, some of the tutorials are as I told you some of the tutorials are premium if you go for the premium tutorials it will be very helpful for us and we will be supported to doing uh, for doing more of these tutorials this type of tutorials so that you can build uh, some great and awesome react native apps for your clients as well as you can submit it on app stores so thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next part thank you